How do I open a port on Windows Firewall? Firewalls are there to protect you from threats on the internet both traffic from the internet and from local applications trying to gain access when they shouldn't. Sometimes, though, you'll want to allow otherwise restricted traffic through your firewall. To do so, you'll have to open a port. When a device connects to another device on a network, including the internet, it specifies a port number that lets the receiving device know how to handle the traffic. Where an IP address shows traffic how to get to a particular device on a network, the port number lets the receiving device know which program gets that traffic. By default, most unsolicited traffic from the internet is blocked by Windows Firewall. If you're running something like a game server, you might need to open a port to allow that specific kind of traffic through the firewall. Note this article shows you how to open a port on a particular PC's firewall to let traffic in. If you have a router on your network, which you likely do, you will also need to allow the same traffic through that router by forwarding the port there. Clicking Start, type Windows Firewall into the search box, and then click on Windows Defender Firewall. This launches Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Click the Inbound Rules category on the left. In the far right pane, click the New Rule command. If you need to open a rule for outgoing traffic, instead of clicking Inbound Rule, you'd click Outbound Rule. Most apps are pretty good about creating their own outbound rules when you install them, but you might occasionally run into one that cannot. On the next screen, you'll have to choose whether the port you're opening uses the Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, or User Datagram Protocol, UDP. Unfortunately, we can't tell you specifically which to use because different apps use different protocols. Port numbers can range from 0 minus 65,535, with ports up to 1,023 being reserved for privileged services. You can find an unofficial list of most TCP, UDP ports on the Wikipedia page. And you can also search for the app you're using. If you can't determine the specific protocol to use for your app, you can create two new inbound rules, one for TCP and one for UDP. Select the specific local ports option and then type the port number into the field provided. If you're opening more than one port, you can separate them by commas. If you need to open a range of ports, use a hyphen. Note, for this guide, we'll be using the allow the connection option as we trust the connection for which we're creating a rule. If you want a little more peace of mind, the allow the connection if it is secure rule uses Internet Protocol Security, IPSC, to authenticate the connection. You can try that option, but many apps do not support it. If you try the more secure option and it doesn't work, you can always come back and change to the less secure one. Domain. When a PC is connected to a domain controller that Windows can authenticate access to the domain. Private. When a PC is connected to a private network, like a home network or a network that you trust. Public. When a PC is connected to an open network, like a cafe, airport, or library where anyone can join, and the security is unknown to you. In the final window, give your new rule a name and an optional, more detailed description. Click Finish when you're done. If you want to disable the rule at any point, located in the list of inbound or outbound rules, right-click it, and then click Disable Rule. That's all there is to it. If you need to open any other ports for a different program or with a different rule, repeat the steps above using a different set of ports to open. Text Source, HowToGeek.com